Hey guys, it's Lisa. It's so good to see you and it's so good to be back at Disneyland. It is a beautiful day, but more importantly, it is the beginning of the season of the Force and I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars so much, so I am so excited. I want to go over to Galaxy's Edge. I want to try and see the entertainment. I want to get on some rides, some attractions for season of the Force, and then maybe get some tasty food Ooh, and merchandise. I really want to look at merchandise and overall, I just want to catch up and see what's new at the park so come along with me let's hang out and let's have an amazing Disney day your attention please the Disneyland Limited. hello and now welcome to my awkward corner it wouldn't be a video of mine unless I was doing awkward things throughout the entire video but this is at the height but anyway let me just tell you that I am so excited for everything Star Wars, so I had to wear a Star Wars outfit, and I have my Ewok ears. I love these ears. Then I also have my Star Wars sweatshirt. And can I just say, I am embracing that this is gonna be the very last cold weekend that we get, basically, because all next week is gonna be very hot, and I hate summer weather. But here I am, in my Ewok Star Wars outfit. I am so ready for today. Oh, don't mind me just waltzing into the Mad Hatter because I saw that they have brand new ears and it looks like they actually have quite a few. I mean, I'm catching up, so everything looks new to me and very exciting. So first off, I just want to say they have restocked the Baymax ears and these are really, really cute. Oh my goodness. I think I might have to try them on again because I tried them on in the past and they were really loose which i hated because then they kind of tilted forward and they wouldn't stay in place but still very cute look at that chocolate dipped bow and then we also have some other ears down here that are stitch things okay they are stitch munchling ears also like these munchling ears but they have a lot going on they have water drops they have embroidery they have a lemon blueberry lemonade bow so many things and two sets of ears so you have four ears and a bow and a lemonade a blueberry lemonade so many things i wonder if it actually is scented <laughs> i feel like maybe the centerpiece is maybe scented but i don't want to stick my nose in it anyway very fun these are also let me check the price and make sure they are 35 dollars oh wow no price okay i'm gonna guess the 35 dollars also new we have some retro space mountain ears these are really cool i like the contrasting blue and orange it's not everybody's jam but i do think these are really cool especially the retro type of pattern look the monorail we have everything going on with tomorrowland and i absolutely adore anytime they have the classic disneyland logo you can see a better view of the graphics on the back there this one is so cool and i love the little metal pin in the center with all the retro kind of graphic design in the background very nice and then we also have the newest princess ears they keep coming out with different ones i love all of them the cinderella the bell ones are so so cute but these are jasmine ears and they have a little veil and i love the glitter look it is multicolored rainbow glitter but in case you don't like it you can just snip it off that is totally fine and then they have satiny ears and of course a giant giant jewel a type of cabochon type of jewel right in the middle and these are 35 dollars <laughs> We have arrived. We have arrived to Galaxy's Edge, one of the best lands, after Fantasyland that is. But look, I have spotted Gonk tracks, and you know what that means. The Gonk is nearby. I love the Gonk. Let's go find him. Look who I found. Look at me, the A-plus bounty hunter. I have found the target. I have found the Gonk. Hello, Gonk. Pat, 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 you are a very good Gonk, and we all love you. We all appreciate you. Also, all the other droids, we love you too, but specifically Gonk. Ooh. What do you, what do you think they're saying? <gasps> Gonk. Food, I said that I needed food and I am starving and I just ordered so much food from Docking Bay 7, but I just wanted to let you know that I am not alone. I have my adorable Yoda Nuimo, and I love him. I know he's not everyone's favorite, but he is so cute. Look, he has his little soft hairs back here. He has wrinkles. His face looks like Mr. Magoo, and he also has a button nose. 
The only thing is, is that I have the little Nuimo, what is it, lightsabers? I have them and I couldn't find them, so he is uh, just gonna use Jedi mind tricks for now. You know, he doesn't need a lightsaber. He is so cute. I love him. So anyway, yeah, this is my little companion for the day, but let me show you the food. I'm getting it in one minute. Hooray, new Dogging Bay 7 food. I am so excited for this. Specifically, I'm so excited for the fried chicken bows. They are two crispy chicken bows with spicy katsu sauce and creamy slaw. Looks so good. And then I, of course, also got my cold brew black calf, but I requested it without ice, which you can do. And of course, it's it looks a little bit less, but then you don't have the awful ice hanging around. And then this over here, these are the Dubak chili noodles, and it's spiced fettuccine noodles, gingered ground pork with broccolini stems, and shredded red cabbage. I am so excited. I feel like Galaxy's Edge has the best food. First, let me drink this. I feel slightly dehydrated, so of course this sounds delicious, but also that just means I need to drink water. But let's go ahead. Oh God, I love this thing. Yum, it is perfect. And without the ice, amazing. You can also request no ice if you go up to the mobile order window. Like if you're picking up your mobile order food, you can ask for it, just ask for it very nicely because sometimes they may do it, sometimes they might not be able to do it. Delicious, feel slightly caffeinated, perhaps even more dehydrated, but let's try, what should I try first? Let's try the bao. Cause I do not have a fork at the ready, so I can't really try the noodles. Ooh, okay, here we go. They look very adorable. Is that what we'll call it? Yeah, we'll call it adorable, why not? I actually really, really like this for a few reasons. The first is that the chicken is nice and crispy, like really crispy. And then the slaw, I love the slaw. I like it because it's a little bit tangy. It gives it that nice crunch and I do like my vegetables. And then the bun itself, okay, so it's not like, a, mine is a little bit stale, but to be perfectly honest, I kind of like it that way. And I, I know don't say anything about it. It's kind of like Swedish fish. I feel like they taste better when they're a little bit stale. And peeps, peeps too are a little bit better when they're stale, but this is fantastic. Oh, and the sauce, all around it was really good because it was really saucy. But the thing is, is that it has a little bit, I can see the seaweed, I can see like, it's maybe like furikake, but I, and I hate that. I hate it with a passion, but it, I couldn't taste it. So all around, this is delicious and I would totally recommend it. And now for the noodles, I'm really excited for the noodles too. And they just look really delicious. The fettuccine and then the pork, I really am into the pork. I'm gonna in fact get a little bit more of the pork. Okay, let's give it a go. These are delicious, really good. And I think the pork is so amazing. It has a really, like a little bit of a spicy flavor, but it has a really deep, savory, salty kind of flavor. And the cabbage, nice and crunchy. And it has, I don't know if you would describe cabbage as like a little bit acidic, a little bit, I don't know. There's something like sharp about it, but it's nice because it balances out this very oily. I mean, honestly, it's maybe a little bit too oily for me. It could have done with a thinner noodle than a fettuccine because it really just gets all over your lips, the oiliness, but still really good, really, really good. Now, with all the savory food, I feel like I need something sweet, like a good dessert. I don't know, but still, amazing. I would recommend it. Also, can I just say, the music here, I am very into it. I don't know what Dancy would do with it, but something, I don't know. Ah, I'm so awkward. <laughs> I am semi running, uh, speed walking, not even that fast really. I'm too scared to trip because I'm clumsy like that. I was alerted that there are droids out and about by a very kind person. Ooh, I see them. <laughs> you remember this place, right? <laughs> I am screaming right now. They are so cute. Look at them. And they move so naturally. So, uh, you know, as if they were real. I mean, they are real and all. But look at them. How cute are they? And they even said hi to the droids over, you know, the good old gonk. They said hello to the gonk, just as everyone always should. 
Now I'm just stalking them like a weirdo. Check it out. This is the newest shoulder pal. Whoa, look at all the stuff happening in the background. Look at the cute droids. But anyway, we are paying attention to this droid. This is a probe droid and it goes on your shoulder. Like, look at it. It is very, very big. It is the biggest shoulder pal that I have ever seen before in my life. But yes, these are the magnets down here that you put on your shoulder and then he lights up, he moves, he makes sounds and you can control him with this. So let's see, let's press one of the buttons. See, look, he's doing things. He moves his spider-like, creepy probe droid hands. Looking for Luke Skywalker. He is kind of fun. I kind of like him. But I don't know how I would feel about this like mechanical spider looking thing. Wow, look. Very active. We like him. In case you want him, and also this has a strap, so this goes on like your wrist, your forearm. Yes, looking for Luke Skywalker. He is $79.99. You can get him at the Droid Depot. I think he's saying, I want cheese. You can actually record your own voice and then it'll like kick it back in, you know, his voice. But I think somebody recorded, I want cheese. I wanted to head out because I wanted to get on some Star Wars attractions that are, well, Star Tours has a new scene and then Hyperspace Mountain is back, but we are... Hello. Oh, is that so? Good to hear. Thank you. But yes, I, I like I said, I always come here to say hello to the gonk. You also have to say goodbye. So goodbye, gonk. We will be back later to do more Star Wars things. Uh, hello, ye old Star Wars trading post. It has been a while since I have been here, mainly just because they've had like a lot of construction and whatnot, but it is back. It is full of new merchandise, which I need to check out because I just love Star Wars merchandise. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the cutest sweatshirt. Also, there is Ewok merchandise. I love the Ewoks, we will look at that as well. But this is very popular because it looks like they only have extra small, but check this sweatshirt out. It has a little Ewok on a speeder and he's going, wee, ooh, this is soft, slightly velvety feeling. And then the print is a little bit thick. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit thick, but it also has some embroidery for the Star Wars logo itself. It gives it a nice rough, kind of rustic looking feel. And then we have some Stormtrooper helmets and an Ewok celebrating, banging on the drums of the Stormtrooper helmets, yes, very velvety. I wonder if it's gonna get pilly though. Okay, on the back, <gasps> yub nub, oh, so sweet, so adorable. Okay, this is $65. And then let's look at everything else because I am so excited. I just love Star Wars merchandise. Anybody up for a silly bucket hat? Because this delivers on silliness, also perhaps utilitarianness because it has a pocket a little cargo pocket, and I really enjoy the Star Wars patch right there. You can see it has a little bit of an illustrative drawn on quality. And then look at this, okay, it's an Ewok, and then he has an X-Wing balloon. So cute, okay, he has, the Stormtrooper has like a little Ewok doll. Oh my God, it is my favorite thing ever. It is a gonk, I love a good old fashioned gonk. Okay, these are so cute, <gasps> one of my favorites. It is, in fact, wait, why? One of my favorites yet, I cannot remember his name. Uh, Boba Fett. Wow, y'all, I am not on my thing. <gasps> and look, it is Han. Okay, sorry, I'm taking too long to discuss this, but look at this funny string too. I love this, let me just check the price. Oh God, the tag is so cute, $30, so fun. This is so adorable too, and I'm pretty sure it is women's, although it looks like a very small women's, but it looks a little bit too big for children. It is an extra small, but this is a hot pink, really, really soft sweatshirt. The material, I don't know, I feel like they always put a little bit more care and attention into the materials whenever they do Star Wars merchandise. But this one is, oh my gosh, look at the logo. Sorry, I keep pointing the camera in the wrong direction. <laughs> Let me check the price. This is $59.99, it has a little Star Wars woven tag, and I just love how soft it is. And then on the back, 
It is, oh, it's embroidered. They're patches. Okay, this makes it really fun. And we have all of the characters with all their little toys and the gonk. We cannot forget the gonk. I'm going to show you the women's tee on the mannequin because you can see the puff princess sleeve so perfectly here. But it also has a very sporty type of look with the cut. And then we have the Ewok saying yub nub. And it's actually fully embroidered. You can see it has a nice texture to it, kind of like an Ewok, a nice texture, you know? And then it has a banded bottom down here and it has the Star Wars woven logo as well. The other thing I just want to mention, I don't know why the mannequins here always look like they are splattered in blood, you know? But it's a unique look. It is, uh, it is rough, it is gritty, it is Star Wars. The men's t-shirt is $35 and I already touched it and the print is horribly thick. Well, okay, it's not horribly thick, but it's like noticeably thick. It's not the best, but we do get a wonderful Tatooine view. Check it out. And then it has like a little bit of embroidery up here at the top for the Star Wars logo, which I do think is cool, but the material is kind of like, hmm, it has a little bit of that stretch in it, which I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't wear the best check it out we have a women's tee this is a crop okay this is the back of it actually i'm looking at the back this is a crop tee but look at how long the sleeves are one day i'm gonna have to buy one of these just so i can try it on at home and see what the cut looks like in real life because i just don't know very boxy very long sleeves a little bit odd but i love the color it's a nice cream color the fabric feels fabulous not too thick not too thin did i say the price already it's 40 dollars. and then on the back the print isn't horribly horribly thick but we have our good old pals we have c3po we have r2 and then i like the metallic print on the star tours logo and then i love the disneyland logo and then we have contrasting orange and blue very cool and on the front ooh, a little embroidered logo at the chest okay very cool this has also been really popular this is a star tours zippered hoodie it has a lot of color blocking and some striping a very cool star tours logo this one is actually just a metallic print and then it has these kind of patches on the sleeves very very cool and the fabric ooh, the fabric feels pretty soft okay very nice and on the back star tours the adventure continues i think this is 69.99 yes it is this is really cool. I love hats. I am, in fact, a hat girl. And this is a Star Tours one. I love the embroidered Star Tours logo. And then check it out on the side. It says Star Speeder 1000. I love this. I might need to get this. It is $30. And then also check out this shirt. I love this shirt. I don't know why this one isn't selling out as fast as the sweatshirt because it looks really, really neat. Actually, I have a feeling I know why. Oh, oh no. Oh, that is horrid. That is really thick, really uncomfortable. Oh my God, look, it doesn't even bend. Oh, that would be so uncomfortable to wear, but I do love the graphic. I think it looks very, very cool. And then it says Star Speeder 1000 embroidered and it's kind of layered over the graphic. And then this as well, the Star Tours logo down here. Okay, let's see. This is $39.99 and then there's nothing on the back, but oh dear Lord, that print is really thick. Bear with me momentarily because I just want to know, is this, there's only one on the rack and it's an extra small. I am not an extra small, but uh, it also looks like a really small extra small, but I, I don't know. I kind of want it. What do we think? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be big enough for me, especially if you layer, I can't really layer with this, but I do think it's so cute and it's really soft, even though we're getting into summer. Like, what am I doing? shopping for a sweatshirt. I don't know. I just love sweatshirts. Maybe I will continue looking for this in my size. Wait, update. I don't know about this tiny sweatshirt, but somehow I found a tinier sweatshirt that I kind of want more. This is a children's sweatshirt. I I know, it's it, and it's small, right? It's a large in children's sizing, but this one is so cute. It has a little R2. The only thing is that it has kind of like a wavy, like it just is a little bit more cropped in the front, which I don't know about. It's already gonna be small, you know, and it's gonna have really short sleeves. But usually if you are a women's small or medium, you can definitely fit into the large or extra large for children's sizing. And I do that all the time. It's just the sleeves are short. So what do we think? What should I do? What should I, what should I do? I just, I really like this one. 
Well, I got both of them. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I did ask if they could find the pink sweatshirt in a small or medium anywhere else in the park and they said they were sold out site wide. So I picked it up. I'm gonna have to try it on later because I don't know, I'm a lazy girl. So sometimes the effort of taking my sweatshirt off and over my head and then putting this on is too much effort. At least it is for me today. So I am super excited about this. Like I said, very soft. I can't wait to wear this even though it's gonna be so hot in the next few days, coming months. <laughs> and then I also got the children's one. So cute. I am so excited to wear this one too. And the only thing I'm sad about is that I don't have matching ears for either of these things. So like, that's a bummer. We need ears. We need matching ears. Here we are, scene change, Star Tours. Star Tours with a brand new scene. And I'm so excited because they are saying that everyone is guaranteed to get the new scene as the very last scene. Ooh, I see some bubbles. God bless the bubbles. Bubbles for everyone. Well, except for the people that don't like them. <laughs> but anyway, Star Tours, let's do this. Who is excited about this? I am excited. I am so excited. And I just walked into the little space, the queue inside. And can I say that there's something about the smell? It smells like, you know, like pirates has a smell. I feel like this ride has a smell like the smell of the plastic of the 3D glasses or something. I don't know, but it is satisfying. And I am so excited, like I said. And then Hyperspace Mountain, we gotta do that too. Good job, C3PO. I see that you're paying attention. Also, fake pushing buttons. Don't worry, I notice. You're not really pushing the buttons. Look at that. And then over here, where is he? There he is. R2. Love you, R2. <laughs> Look at his deep concentration. Concentrating so deeply. I know exactly what I'm doing. No. <laughs> He's so silly. Look at his deep confusion. He's like, what's happening? Nobody knows. And this thing is extremely sensitive, so no doing this. This is Cassian Alto with an urgent mission from the Rebellion. With each day, the Empire grows more and more powerful. We need your help right now to fight back. Right now? But we... Head to the coordinates I'm transmitting to you. Together we can win this. I'm counting on you. Wait! We're just tourists! Yes, I do believe these are Virgo. Virgo are the legendary space whales. Quite extraordinary and so serene. Oh no! Obviously, you have to exit through the gift shop anytime you do Star Tours, and I'm not complaining because I love Star Wars merchandise, but also I love new emails. Look at all these sweet little baby Yoda. Well, not baby Yoda, but kind of little Yodas looking for homes. And anytime I see the new emos, I always think to myself, this is my new emo. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And look, yes, there are many new emos like mine, but the one that I have is mine. And in case you're wondering, yes, he enjoyed Star Tours with us. I just did not have tiny little new emo Yoda shaped glasses for him, unfortunately. So he had to enjoy it without the glasses. Oh, I'm actually so glad that I exited through the gift shop because I forgot about this. I want to do the scavenger hunt. This is in Galaxy's Edge, but you buy it at Star Traders and then you can redeem your card when you find everything and you get a tiny little prize. And I'm actually excited about the prize. So let's get this and then let's do the scavenger hunt. I don't know if I'll complete it today though, if I'm being totally honest. I have acquired the very special scavenger hunt paper and let's just pay attention to how they cut it in a very special Star Wars way. We appreciate this and they even give you a little golf pencil and it's free. This scavenger hunt is actually free so you can participate and get this little paper and the very special golf pencil all for free and then you get the prize for free as well. You do have to go to Star Traders to get this paper and then the scavenger hunt itself is in Batuu. So 
we are going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to finish it today, but I'm very excited to do it. Like I said, I like the prize and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's a nerdy prize that is up my alley. Beware, don't look at this right now if you don't want to know what the special prize is. But I have a friend that cheated. Trust me, it was not me. I did not cheat. I am going to do this fair and square. But look at the prize. This is it. It's a little Chewbacca character card. And then the reason why I said that it's a special kind of nerd that I, you know, I'm like super into this right now. Look at the back. It is an arabesque decoder. If only I could do it the right way. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I really, really want one of these. So this is not mine. I'm going to actually do this fair and square, okay? So I'm not going to show you the back because he has all the answers on there. So yeah, this is the prize. I am so excited about that. Should I, when I get mine, should I laminate it? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So since I was in Tomorrowland, I decided to go to Galactic Grill and look at what I have this delicious thing. I did say that I wanted a sweet treat and I think this is definitely going to deliver and it's going to give me sugar overload, but I'm kind of into that because I I need a little pick-me-up. Also, I smelled it. It smells like canned frosting slash that kind of frosting they put on like ice cream cakes, which I'm so into because it's like so much plain white sugar that it almost feels crunchy. I don't know, but anyway. Let me tell you what this is. This is around for the season of the force over at Galactic Grill. This is the Wookie Parfait, and it's chocolate sponge cake, chocolate pudding, and caramel mousse on a chocolate coffee crust with chocolate pearls. First things first, I love these crunchy pearls. Like, love them. If I could get an entire, mm, no, I wouldn't want that at home because I would eat it in, uh, I would just like, you know, I, too much. But let's go ahead and give this a taste. I think I see a little fuzz right there. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, this. I feel like there's too much frosting in that one though, so like, let's maybe try to get some of the other stuff. The problem with parfaits is that the first bit is never, the first spoonful is never good because you just get the top layers and you want a little bit of everything, you know? Anyway, okay, let's try it. Oh my god, I love this. And I don't know if it's just because I am in that afternoon slump at Disneyland where I really want a little bit of energy, but wow. This definitely is for somebody who has a sweet tooth. It's really sugary, but you can taste the caramel and I'm really excited about that because I'm a huge caramel fan. And then you get all the different textures. That's like the best thing about a parfait. Also, the cute way that it is like decorated, that is also the next best thing. But then the only thing I'm disappointed by, which Yes, the flavors, the caramel flavor is so good. And then you get the chocolate pudding at the bottom and then the sponge cake is delightful. I don't taste any coffee whatsoever. So if you don't like coffee, that's not a problem here. The one thing I'm a little bit sad about, those crunchy pearls, they're not so crunchy here. So, you know, that's to be expected. It's been sitting in a delicious parfait mess for hours, but oh, it's so cute. Look at it, Wookie. And, by the way, I just want to say, whenever I see the word Wookiee, I'm always reminded of a memory where I got yelled at for not knowing that Wookiee is spelled with two E's. Yes, I know, I know. Who would have known that Wookiee is spelled with two E's? Not me, but now I do, and now you do too. <laughs> Look who it is, the most evil, um, whatever this creature is in all of Tatooine, also at Disneyland, because he is a popcorn bucket available now. And then I think, no, I don't think it comes with him. I think that there's like a straw top or something with Salacious Crumb, his fun monkey-like friend. But look at him, he looks so ridiculous. And I am at the popcorn cart in Tomorrowland. So I feel like I should get some popcorn and also get this Jabba. But also I kind of want this popcorn bucket because look at the tiny Donald in his tugboat. He is the cutest thing that I have ever seen, ever. Oh my God, okay, I might need this one, but really I just want Donald in his little tugboat. 
Here he is, our beautiful Jabba the Hutt. He is quite the king, don't you think? At least of the Hutt clan. And then check out the strap. It actually has the Hutt clan symbol going on. He also has it on his arm. And look at his creepy, creepy face. Oh, and he has Salacious Crumb. So Salacious Crumb comes with the popcorn bucket. Popcorn bucket was $34. Honestly, I don't remember. I just paid and I was like, yes, look at him. He is just amazing and silly and look at how wide he is so very wide and i'm actually quite pleased with the quality of like the paint and everything i don't know sometimes the popcorn buckets don't look the best but this one looks amazing oh and then okay listen if salacious crumb wasn't a good enough like detail let me show you one more detail that is extra extra amazing <laughs> That part was a little bit awkward because I, I, the speaker is on the back and then the button is, it's not technically a button, it's like just when you open or close the lid, he makes his creepy laughing sounds, his grotesque laughing sounds. So yes, you got a little bit of uh, Java butt action during that clip. Fun, but yes, I love him and he is ridiculous and he is silly and I think this is one of the best popcorn buckets ever. So I'm going to obviously wear him because the point of a popcorn bucket is that you can carry it around all day and find joy, even though they are really clunky because they are just big and made out of plastic, so you have to watch out and make sure it doesn't hit everything. But here he is. How do I wear him? Should I wear him to the side? Yes. There we go. Look at him. We also have Salacious Crumb here at my side. And then, did I show you this? I don't think I did. Look. That is how the popcorn opens up. It's, I just, I'm, the popcorn, but this is amazing. Look, let's make him talk. Like the, you know. Wah, 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 wah. Da, ba, be, da, ba, Han Solo. Did, was that a good impersonation? I think it was better than when I tried earlier. But yes, look at him. I love him. He is so big. And yes, just be careful when you wear them around because you will definitely knock into things. And I love him and he's so gross, but I love him. I have an exciting announcement. Maybe, maybe not, but maybe so. And it's that, well, first off, it's that crow o'clock is almost upon us. They're going to start getting over here by Space Mountain Hyper. Oh, look, see, you can see some. But another thing that I was going to say is that there's supposed to be a SpaceX launch very, very soon. Let's see if we can see it. It feels fitting because it's kind of a space day and we're right by Star Trader. It looks like things are going according to plan. 40 seconds, 39 seconds, 38 seconds, 37. It's happening soon. Whoa, 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 there it is. Look at that. It is going off into space and look at how beautiful it is with Star Trader. Ooh, and some crows. How appropriate. See, check that out. Space things. Space theme day. My commentary is not very interesting. Oh, it is very cold right now and I am not dressed for this amount of chill, but I am here for a very important reason. Also, look, I'm in Galaxy's Edge. I am back to where I was also like one table over earlier today. Hmm. Interesting how things come full circle, but I am here because there is a, gosh, what is the name of it? So oh, man, it's called like the something exciting of the rising moons. But anyway, they have a special score that is going to be played with the, pr with the fireworks. And I say projections because I was a little bit scared. They might cancel the fireworks. It's a little bit windy. Dear Lord, please no. I've been sitting here for so long. Also, I put my little, I keep wanting to say Grogu. No, 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 little baby Yoda, but not that baby Yoda, inside of the popcorn bucket. And he looks adorable. He looks adorable, but almost getting eaten by gross old job of the hut. Smugglers and scoundrels, pirates and rogues, travelers and adventurers. Welcome.
so that is gonna do it for our Star Wars themed day and I am so excited that it is the season of the force I just love Star Wars and I love everything we did today I had so much good food and the the fireworks happened honestly it is not always a guarantee that the fireworks will happen here at Disneyland. They get canceled all the time. So I was definitely holding my breath going, please, please happen. And they did. And it was fantastic. I loved being able to hear all that Star Wars music. And they were playing during Wondrous Journey. So it was the full 15 minute show. And I just like that you got to see the spires and they were different colors. And then there were fireworks and the music. And I just love everything. Star Wars. Also, look, I still have Yoda. I keep wanting to call him Baby Yoda, but no, no, no. Yoda, he's the full-grown 800-year version of himself. And you can tell because he has the little hairs on the back of his head, and that is... He is the sweetest little guy. In fact, look, he's gonna do a little Jedi leap for us. See? Do you love it? We, we all love it. By the way, I want to say, so many good things coming up. So, Star Wars Night. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but... I'm gonna wear something. I just don't have a costume yet. So I'm excited for that. And I also am so excited for Pixar Fest. Pixar Fest is coming up and then actual May 4th is gonna come up. And then we have a whole summer of amazing things to do and see and Disney and everything. I'm excited. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I had a great day. So yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>